You grew up in the UK, did this childhood have an importance to your versatile taste for music? Um, growing up in the UK, um, I think listening to a lot of music, it may have an influence. You know, and I think one of the influences is um, listening to a lot of roots, reggae music, because you find in the UK most reggae music passed through England, you know. A lot of music that was made in Jamaica in the 70s was not even released in Jamaica. They get re they was released in um, England. So being in England, you know, maybe you get a bit more roots, you know, from a lot of musicians that are there and a lot of different musics also, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Man. Your latest album, Awake, was released in 2009. Are you working on a new album? Yes, we are working on a new album currently. Um, we don't have a title at the moment, but we've been in the studio working on some new materials, you know, as well as rehearsing some new materials. So you will hear some music very soon, you know? Yeah. What role do you play in the label you founded with, with your brothers, Geta Youths International? Well, I and I, as well as, you know, being one of the, you know, one of the, 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 the we will call it now, one of the, you know, three of us control the label, me and my two brothers, Steve and Damian, you know what I mean? But definitely we see ourselves as bringing music, you know, from the street, as we say, because it's, it's all about the people in the street. It's the we that face, face the struggle every day, you know what I mean? So right now, it's all about promoting, producing, you know, young artists, you know, coming up. You know, at the moment, we're working in Jamaica because obviously we can reach to Jamaica a bit more easier. But, you know, it's not really, it doesn't really stop in Jamaica. It, stop, it don't really stop at all, <laughs> continue. You know what I mean? France, you know, everywhere. So we are here in France and we are here with the people. So, you know, Ghetto Youths is what it is. Ghetto Youths is the growing of the youths, upcoming. We are going to put out this positive music, you know. So, yeah.
What is the process of writing songs? Inspiration of God, Almighty Father, you know, which is the, the inspiration of everything, you know. Um, life, life is one of the biggest inspirations. There's a million things to sing about in life, you know what I mean? So, music is a natural mystic, it's an inspiration which you might not feel the vibe this minute, but two minutes later, you're full of vibes. So, that's how music flow, you know, naturally, mystic. Reggae music, you know, is the people's music, you know. Reggae music is a revolving, a revolution music which keeps on circling the earth because why? We have many people that are struggling today, many people, you know, that face hardships, the hardships of life, which is caused by a thing what we call Babylon system, you know. So reggae music is the antidote for, for all those kind of oppression you know so that that in that in that sense reggae music always live and always will be strong you know yeah and we can hear the importance of hip hop in your songs how do you see these two genres connect, connected. Well, we see it connected because it's street music. You know, it's music of the street. You know, reggae music, you know, is a powerful music, you know what I mean, which is, as we say, both music is street music. But maybe we don't get as much promotion in reggae music as needed, you know, which is necessary today. You know what I mean? We have to, we have to stress to, to, to you know, promote this real conscious reggae music, you know what I mean, which is necessary. Because hip hop is speaking of the streets. But reggae does not glorify oneself. Reggae is about equal rights. So that means say me and you are brother and sister. Me is not a, I'm not over you and I, I don't have more than you. We have the same riches, same spiritual riches. You know? You're just now in tour in Europe. How did you live this tour time? Do you prefer studio work or stage time? Well, they both go hand in hand, you know. We enjoy every part of it. Stage work is fun because you just get to play what you recorded, you know. But recording, you have to create. And you can have ideas, you can change your ideas which is good too, you know, so they both go hand in hand, you know what I mean, music is, music must be played on the airwaves as well as on the stage, so here we are on the stage and soon we shall be on the CD, <laughs> so you know, we enjoy both worlds, yeah, yeah man, Rastafari, you know.